Thank you for watching my videos. Uh, this is 2012 uh, Toyota Sequoia. Uh, rear disc brakes, I'm going to show you how to service them, preventive maintenance, and how to replace the brake pads if they need to be replaced. So, there is a rubber seal here on the drum, it's on the roller itself. Uh, this is for adjusting your parking brake. So, if your car is rolling, you pop this out and you adjust. Uh, I will show you another video how to adjust the parking brake. So right now what I'm going to do is take this off, the caliper off, and I'll show you how to do preventive maintenance. What I mean by preventive, preventive maintenance, preventing piston inside the caliper from seizing or rusting in, from being stuck. Uh, what you do is you remove I already loosened off with a uh, size 17 socket, so I'm going to take this off. You're going to need more likely grease to grease uh, the pins. You're going to need uh, something to push the piston back, either C clamp or, in my case, I'm going to be using a uh, quick, quick, quick quad pad spreader. Either way, this will work with a C clamp. Sorry, but can be done. Or using this quick quad uh, pad spreader. So, see my pre uh, other videos for full details, size, and where this can purchase at. So, the bolts are off. Okay, see? I'm not sure if you can see or not, but there is no grease. It's pretty much dry, the lower pin. So, I'm going to set it aside. I'm going to get this one out. So, if you do once a year, twice a year, it's called preventive maintenance. The top one had, as you can see, has more grease, so it's the bottom one is pretty much dry. So when the pins are dry, there is no movement of the caliper, it's not moving back and forth as it's supposed to. So what it does, it wears out your brake pads unevenly, your roller, and the lifespan is just becomes much shorter. So it's it's good to so right there. So we're gonna push this in. As preventive maintenance, and then I'll show you the pads themselves. So, using this quick pad spreader, let me zoom out so you can see better. So, I should it's the best way to show you, but so basically, pull it in. And just keep squeezing until pretty much you get the piston in. It's called preventive maintenance. By pushing in, you, the piston gets lubricated. See, now it's back fully in, meaning you can actually put new pads if you need to. By doing this, you will. You will save yourself down the road a lot of money by having the roller last longer, brake pads, plus uh, squealing, you know what I mean? When there is the nut on the cylinder is not pushed in or doesn't go back in by itself, you have a problem of uh, some pressure point that will create, will make the brake pads touch in the roller and we'll make we'll squeal. We will hear that squealing noise. So, so what I'm gonna do is get them out. They're still good, but as you can see, if you can see or not, let me zoom in. And even where you might not see it, but 
the bottom portion had more and the upper portion had less. Why? Because the bottom pin had no grease, it was dry, it was stuck, so it wasn't moving, it was positioned. This one was moving, so it was squeezing unevenly. That's why it's uneven well. So what I'm gonna do out the other side, I'll make sure it's clean. You clean any dirt, grease, same thing, uneven wear because of the pin wasn't sliding. Less here, more here. It's the same grease as was OEM, so it's compatible. You just apply it a little bit. And then slide it in. It might help I'm not putting too much grease. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spread it around so it's thin, even. Thin, even layer. Now, when the brake pads wear out unevenly after inspecting them, because one side, as you can see, has less on this side, there's less uh, material. And this one has more due to one of the pins were stuck, wasn't lubricated. So once you lubricate, you do inspection, make sure everything is working, might as well replace those pads, you know. Don't don't put them back because you're not gonna have exact pressure on a rotor on the rotor itself with an even pad. So replace them and put the new ones in. Now the new pads are in. I'm going to zoom in for you to see. The option is to actually take it, take this, and squeeze it in inside there. Same thing with this one, top one. This is it. Make sure you don't over tight. Get it tight enough. And this is it to it. Very easy and simple to do it. And thanks for watching. Hope you find it useful.